Hey, Facebook Live. Hey, Facebook community. It's Michelle Cooper here on Thursday, May 4th, 2017. And it is a bright, sunny day here in Chilliwack, British Columbia. I live um, on the very west coast of Canada. I live in the Fraser Valley, um, which is about an hour from Vancouver. And we have a brilliant, sunny, awesome day where it is 26 degrees today at its height, apparently, um, which seems crazy because it's been a super cold, cold winter for us. So today I wanted to check in and um, share with you a little experience that I um, had recently. Hey Shri, awesome to see you online. Um, I recently uh, read a little book called The Go-Giver, okay? Um, it is by Bob Berg and John David Mann. Um, and um, it was super, super interesting. Hi, Jana. Um, this is a fictional book, and I haven't read fiction in a long time. And, uh, but it was, it's called A Little Story About Powerful, About a Powerful Business Idea. Now, I'm a true believer in, in, um, the, in giver's game, in the philosophy of giver's game. So that means I give to you and in, res, in return, I will receive back. And it's a reciprocal, it's like the law of reciprocation, right? It's an ever expanding circle of awesomeness. And I firmly live my life this way. I run my business this way. And it's the reason why I try to over deliver to my clients. Uh, one, I want them to have an amazing experience. But two, um, I believe that by giving um, to them, I will gain in life, right? So The Go-Giver, great book. If you have a chance to read this book, read it. Okay, super interesting idea, super interesting philosophy, totally goes along with giver's gain philosophy, and, um, and it's a neat little story, right? I then looked up Bob Berg, and he was on a podcast. Um, he was a guest on, uh, uh, um, what's his name? Lori Harder's husband's name. I can't remember his name. Anyways, he has a podcast about money. He was a guest on there, and so I listened to that. And he said something that made me think. And I think I'm pretty evolved. I think I'm pretty conscious in my language and in my thoughts and my practice. And he challenged people on the words giving back. Now, I was like, what do you mean giving? Like, I don't, what are you talking about? Right? Like, I like to give back. Sure. But what he said was uh, giving back implies that you took something that you need to give back. Mind blown. Okay. Giving back means you took something that you need to give back. So if you were giving back financially to a charity, you took money financially and now you have to give it back. Well, I know I haven't taken any money. I know that the people that I am surrounded with, we don't take money. We earn money. We are provided financial abundance through the services we provide. And that's very different from taking right? So the energy behind the words take or took sounds very aggressive and gross and uh, right? And so this was really interesting to me. And so I started to think about it more and more and um, was, it's something I'm going to explore more because I'm going to stop using those words. Um, I'm going to stop using the words giving back because I didn't take anything to start with. Hey, Cindy. Um, and 
it's really just caused me to think, right? I did have one of those like mind blown moments um, earlier this year, listening to um, Gary Vaynerchuk talk about the business model of charity, the fake business model of charity, right? So this business model of, oh, if you buy like, I don't know, a pair of glasses from us, we will send a pair of glasses to a third world country. And in that business model, you are paying twice the cost for the pair of glasses so they can send another pair on. And that's fake, right? Like, I just, it's just, I just call bullshit on that kind of thing, right? Like, that's not a company actually giving anything. It's them charging you and it's you giving, right? So that's not real. The company isn't doing anything, but they're getting the PR off of that. And that does not rub me the right way. And I didn't think about it like that before, right? So it's all these slight tweaks on your mindset. So mindset shift around money doesn't have to be mind blowing. It doesn't have to be huge. It can be as simple as a one word like today, giving back. I'm not going to use that word anymore. I'm going to talk about donating my time, energy, money to things, um, to myself. If we follow the Buddhist philosophy of giving, we know that you give to give. You don't need to advertise it. You don't need to talk about it. You don't need to um, earn money off of it or earn cred off of it or um, anything like that, right? So slight, slight changes in practice and in language can result in amazingness. So being a money rock star means watching your language. It means really, really making those one degree shifts in your life. One degree shift. A one degree shift can take you along here and then you start going here and suddenly you're way over there, right? Super easy, super easy to do. Stop saying the word giving back. You didn't take anything. That's going to change your mindset. It's going to contribute to changing your mindset. So that is the deal. Hey, Tara, how are you? Tara, you, you, you joined late. I feel like I feel like on Facebook Live, sometimes you need to like just sit here and like talk for a little bit until people see um, that you're on live, right? And they can jump on. Because like so often I'm finished talking and then somebody I love jumps on and I feel like they've missed the message. Ah, okay. So that was my message. Be a money rock star. Change your... Um, mindset. Just that one degree shift. One degree shift. Terry, you got to go back and listen to this. This message is so up your alley. Um, and if you're up for reading a new book, uh, The Go-Giver by Bob Berg and John David Mann. Amazing little story. Um, totally awesome. Totally, totally awesome. Anyways, I can let you go because I got a call um, right now with Natalie McNeil and I got to go do that. Yay. Oh, I will show you the cover. I will show you Tara. The cover is I'll show it to you on my Amazon. Why won't this turn? Hang on. Oh, here you go. This is it here. Okay. Yay. Yay. Talk to you guys later.